So guys, I'm going to break down for the chosen ones. Two very, 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 I'll say two, one good thing, one bad thing. You're going to attract two things instantly into your life. <clears throat> and that's, you know, first thing is first. That is what, it, that that's what being the chosen one calls for. It's not all sunshine and rainbows and lollipops and shit like that. It's not like that for nobody. So you got to take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. Because this is how it is. If you were a child of one, first thing is first. And we know this. You're going to attract a lot of haters. A lot of people that ain't going to want to see you do very well. Because you're doing very well. That's why they don't want to see you do any more weller than you're already doing. So, you're going to attract haters. A lot of jealous and bitter people. You're going to see a lot of a lot of angry faces looking at you. A lot of mean mugging. You're going to see a lot of stuff like that. So that's one thing you will attract instantly as a chosen one. And you probably got that somewhat your whole life. You probably had people saying certain things to you to, to diminish your confidence your whole life. You were probably the one that was young playing sports in school on a different level than damn near everybody in class. People say, oh, why are you trying so hard? Uh, 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 uh. Just because you're better at what you do. Shaming tactics. People do anything to paint you in a bad picture. Just because you're succeeding. People are not going to be happy with those that are actually doing well. People are usually happy for the fake people that post like they're doing well and stuff like this because they know deep down they're not. So they'll support what they're doing because, you know, they know they're not doing that well anyway, so they'll do that. But then the chosen ones are going to post and they know they're genuinely doing well. So they're not going to like it. They're not going to do nothing. So that's one thing. You're going to attract a lot of haters, jealous people, bitter people because they know you're genuinely doing good in life. Number two. The complete opposite. This is a good thing that you will attract. An overwhelming amount of abundance. An overwhelming amount of abundance. Now, if you're a chosen one, <clears throat> you may never hit the pot of gold yet. You may never hit your peak quite yet, but you're gonna get there. I promise you that. So you're gonna attract an overwhelming amount of abundance prosperity, wealth, health, because without health does not come wealth. You got to be healthy to be wealthy. It goes hand in hand. You can't be mentally ill or sick and think you're going to attract a bunch of good things because it's just not going to happen. It's just not. But if you're a chosen one, you will attract a lot of great things and you will attract some great people as well it's not all bad when it comes to people you will attract some good people they're going to want to be on board with what you got going on they're, they're going to want to be on board with you they're, they're going to see clearly what you're doing and they're not going to hate on it you'll have people like that you're going to attract abundance in many different ways and that's the beautiful thing but like I said you got to take the good with the bad the bad with the good because both are always going to be there. A lot of people is going to not want to see you do well, man. A lot of people is going to look at you funny, man. You might not even know people. And just the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you are. They can sense that you're on a different level. And they're not going to like it. It's not your fault you're working hard. It's not your fault you're more dedicated than they are. It's not your fault you're in your zone and they're not. They're living in this kind of a la-la land and wasting time. That's not your fault. When you come around, they usually get pissed at themselves more than more than you. you. You're just clarifying to them how pissed off they are at their own existences. It's what it really is. That's what you kind of tell them. You're kind of like the mirror. You show them what, what they haven't done. You show them what they're not doing. Or at least haven't done yet. 
but good people like you could be doing much better than some people and some people will still be happy for you because they have the right mindset which is a very healthy thing because now they're in a position where they can actually improve people that are so pissed bro they're very far away from actually self-improving is what they don't understand they're, they're very far away from doing that they're not on rhythm of the self-improvement type of life there's different realities there's different things in this world you have to move a certain way to really improve quick you can't move like everybody else you can't be in this modern day bimbo cuck society you can't you can't be on point and on rhythm i could i could get off the rhythm i'm on right now and, and follow along with everybody else in society and do all that dumb shit but is that going to serve me well no it's not no it's not I've never even got myself deep into that bullshit in my life. Have I talked to a wrong female before? Yep. Have I done things like that before? Yep. But I'm going to tell you something. I've never talked to like 5, 10, 15, 20 different people and I'm just going nuts, not focused, just completely focused on people. And I, no, I was always focused on myself to a certain extent. Obviously, when you're younger, it's harder to do it. But I always, always was. There's little things that took bits and pieces of my focus, but I was always a focused individual. That's the thing. I was never completely gone. There's people today that are completely gone. So far away from their true self. So far away from real reality. And they're living in this fucking clown bozo world. Talking to a bunch of different people. Thinking that's what life is. Be that. Make everybody else happy. Connect with everybody else, a bunch of idiots and all. No, that's not what life is. You got to get better, man. You have to improve yourself so you can actually provide for yourself and your family and other people and whatever else. Even if it's just yourself. You have to provide a great life. Period. How the fuck are you going to do that? If you're focused talking to a whole bunch of different people and you got no goals, you got no energy... You, you just think you can, like, talk to all these people and still do, like, your goals. You can't. That's why you have no goals, because you're so focused on everybody else. You can't do that. You have to focus on your goals and eliminate everybody else that don't matter. How does everybody that you ever known in, in today's modern society, how does every one of those people matter? Are you well? That's not the way life is supposed to go. We're not supposed to be connected with that many people. We're just not. You're supposed to have, like, your family. That's about it. A few friends at a left field here and there. That's about it. It doesn't mean you got to hate everybody else and not just be against everybody else. You, you just can't be that close with that many people, bro. That's the thing. There's many people I could see on a daily basis that I'm cool with, but it's like you're not that close. You're just not. Never will be. So people have the wrong priorities today, man. How the fuck are you going to be chosen if you can't even get your, your own mind straight and together and to do the right things? You can't. You have to be extra disciplined. Extra, 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 extra. Having your mind in sync 24-7. Doing the right things 24-7. There's no time to waste. The more time you waste now, and then let's say later on you start to really improve, you're going to look back at all that time that was wasted and been like, man, look how much further I could have been ahead. Could have been ahead with all that time I did waste in the past. Just look at it. Every one of us We'll always look back and see what we could have done better. But that's the point. You're going to know it pretty damn quick. And you're going to regret it. I could have done better when I look back. Of course. But I was still doing a lot better than the majority. So I'm grateful for that. But you're always going to get a lot better and you can realize what you could have done. 
So I'm trying to explain to you guys how important time really is here. It's very, very important. What, how you spend your time is very, very important. Spending your time on unimportant things is very, very dumb. Being a grown adult and <laughs> using your time st stupidly. Talking to a bunch of people who's not even a part of your life, that is just dumb. What are you doing with your life? Get the fuck off your phone. You'd be better off watching something that can actually improve your mindset. Sitting there talking to your fucking friends about nothing. Like, what are you doing? If you're going to do that, make sure it makes sense. Make sure you guys are coming up with a plan. Make sure you're doing something. Make sure if you're going to talk to a friend, make sure you're probably arranging a plan to go and hang out in person and actually do something productive. People are sitting around today on their phones, man, just talking to talk. Worse than a fucking woman. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Pardon my French. But it's the truth. It's God-awful. And they wonder why they're struggling so much. You can't, man, you're... It's the bad addictions they have. Use your phone to text and to do things like that, to actually set up plans in real life, to get with people in real life, to do things in real life. People just talk to talk. You'd be using that time to do something a lot wiser. You could watch an educational video. You could watch an educational podcast. You could do something. Because you might hear something that could really click. And it could change the pattern of your life and the trajectory of your life. It's what people don't get. You either want it or you don't. There comes a time where you're going to kick yourself in the ass. Say, so you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a little bit crazy in my fucking mind. And I'm going to go after shit, no matter what. I'm going to do that. And nothing's going to stop me. you got to be like a man or woman possessed, and you got to be damn serious about it if you want to see any bit of change in your life. And you got to do that for years. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's what it comes down to. And then you change. You fucking make yourself change. There's no excuses. You can do it. I did it. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. There some, might have been things that was going half decent in my life. Half decent is not good enough for me. Half decent might be good enough for somebody. If somebody else was me, they might not have felt the need to improve. Which is why they're not me. I have, like... The mindset that I had, man... And still to this day, that driven, driven mindset. Like, I am going to make shit happen. Make it happen. You have to be dead ass serious. You have to want that more than you want to hang and chill with the buddies. Drink drinks, do this, do that. Think you deserve to just relax and enjoy life. Let's relax and enjoy life. You haven't earned that that's the path you want to take, you're going to have a lot of problems later on. I'll tell you that much. You have a lot of problems later on. You got to learn. You got to work. You got to execute. You got to build. You got to build. <sighs> Women have more of an excuse to do the things they do. They do. Women are not men and men are not women. It is mandatory for a man to be this way. Women are more so the social creatures that want to do things like that. It's the guys that get sucked in to their world is who fail. To want to talk to them all the time. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. I don't want to talk to women 24-7. It is a huge distraction for me and goals. And the right woman understands that. You can't be on her ass 24-7. She can't be on your ass 24-7. You need to be able to think clearly. And you can't do that if you're talking to a woman 24-7. Your head's going to be in la-la land. 
in fucking La La Land. You can't get focused doing that shit, bro. I've done it before. I've kept up with women for for whole periods of days whenever I used to talk to them and stuff like this, and you cannot think straight. You have no time for your own self, for your own goals, to build, to create. You can't. All that stuff gets taken away because you're focused on her. She wants you to focus on her. But the right woman will understand where you're coming from. She wants you to get after it. She wants you to build that life that she will be a part of someday. So, <clears throat> show someone's will. Take that path. If you're chosen, you're chosen. If you're not, you're not. But you gotta make a choice. I'm gonna choose myself. I'm gonna be the best I can be. I'm motivated to do it. I will not back down, I will not surrender. I will do this, no matter what. And you gotta get like pissed. Cause a man that's pissed is gonna move mountains. A man that is, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Smiling all the time. You ain't gonna move shit. You can't even move that fucking shovel off your deck to shovel the damn driveway. Let alone moving a mountain. You can forget about that. Where's your masculinity? Where is your drive? Nowhere to be seen. You have to get up, you have to get after it. You have to piss yourself off, you have to hype yourself up, you have to feel that way. You have to feel that drive. You can't be that soft boy, oh, I just wanna be happy. What? That's something a woman would say. I just wanna be happy. You work your ass off so you can make her happy and that's going to make you even more happy. I'm not saying be miserable as a man. I'm just saying you have to get after it, bro. It's not all about being happy all the time. It's <laughs> That's just not what life is. Like you, There has to be points in your life where you have to really fucking dig down, bro. And take it like a man. That's the whole point. It's something every man must do. It's not about laughing and smiling and being like that 24-7. It's just not realistic. Not at all. And if you want to be that way, I'm just going to tell you right now, you're not going to move no mountains. You're just not. You have to get very serious sometimes and put your foot down and get shit done. <clears throat> so... Chosen ones will ignite. They will rise to the occasion. If it's not for you, it's not for you. You can do what you want, but I'm just going to say, you're not going to move mountains. Don't think you're going to achieve certain things if you want to be that way all the time. Because it's just not going to happen, man. I'm telling you the truth. You have to get aggressive with your life, with your goals. You have to have some sense, sense of urgency. That like you're going to die to do this. That's how much you're going to make it happen. Because that's how hard shit is to make happen sometimes. It really is. You have to be the one that makes it happen. You choose to make it happen. You're the chosen one. You will it into existence. You will, you will reap the benefits. You will get the life of abundance. You will get the life of the haters and all that stuff. And every ounce of it is all good. That's the life you want. That's the life I want. That's the life everybody really wants. But the difference maker is not everybody's going to choose themselves because they might feel entitled. I want that, but I don't. I just kind of want it. Is a mindset they have. I just kind of want it. I want it. I definitely want it. You don't want it bad enough. You're not willing to die to get it. You're not willing to suffer to get it. You're not willing to feel some type of way to get what it is that you want. It's called having hunger. It's called having aggression towards your goals. Willing it into existence. I will bite down. And I will get it. And nothing's going to stand in your way. You will make it happen regardless of how you feel. That's why I'm saying, uh, mm -hmm. I want to be happy all the time and all this stuff. It's just not going to work out, bro. Sure, everybody wants to laugh and smile. I have laugh attacks almost daily. When I'm around people and friends and stuff like that and 
out and about in certain places where you don't mind people the odd time, sure. But right when that's done, you're still you're still right back on par. Focused, determined, ready to fucking get it. You can take your time, but you're right back on the ball. It's like a trained dog. You give them the time to play around and stuff like that, but when it's time to work, it's time to work. That's the difference maker. You have to be the one smart enough to be able to flip that switch on and off, on and off, off and on, when you know you need to, to get shit done. And you better be damn good at that. Because if you're not, you're not gonna get those results, dog. You gotta be smart enough to get those results. Hardworking enough to get those results. It takes high IQ, it takes intelligence, it takes smarts, natural smarts, and it takes work ethic. And it takes determination. It takes not giving up. Persisting. Like a madman. You are willing to do anything to do it. You're willing to do anything to get it. And nothing is going to stand in your way.